All right, welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, talking about wellness, natural wellness solutions, and tonight's topic is simple steps to writing affirmations. This is more, not not so much physical wellness, but you know, all around um, mental and spiritual wellness. Everything. Everything. Wellness, so. Yeah. so we work together on this one. So I'm really grateful for Ben's help, um, and I'm really grateful that. We are on the same page. I think uh, years ago when we first started, uh, you know, healing emotionally, he healing spiritually, it was kind of a funny thing, you know, um, and now both of us have really adopted it. And sometimes when we argue, it's just funny because he, Ben will say, hey, James, you've got a false belief about that. And, uh, you know, we'll <laughs> have to think about, you know, like maybe, you know, now you have a false belief about that too. And, um, and but we do change and it's a lot easier <laughs> um, because we work on ourselves. So we, we hired each other as personal coaches. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes us better. So that's really good. Anyways, I just want to share with you how we uh, write affirmations. It's very simple. Um, so you see that there, here, the little um, line, uh, you know, for the formula, formula for this people listening, uh, we have beliefs with arrows uh, pointing across, and then beliefs lead to thoughts, lead to feelings, lead to actions, and the results. And I was really proud of my daughter, um, Emily, when I taught her this. One day when we were driving home, she was just repeating this to me. She says, well, mom, if I'm getting a result that I'm not happy with, um, then it must be because I have a false belief. And I thought, yes, you got it. And then she says, and then I think about what was that belief that um, caused that feeling and thoughts. And so proud of her. So guys, when we have a result that is undesirable, okay, something that you didn't want, we just have to go back in time and find what the belief was that uh, wasn't right. You know, it's a, we call it a false belief because it's not true um, and we don't want it, but we somehow adopted it. Um, so one of my friends, uh, her family said to her, will you never be able to make enough money? You know, so, um, and then so in her mind, she struggled to get a good job that would make enough money. She's always worked, but she's always saved pennies and it was ridiculous. So we kind of identified that today and it's like, oh my gosh, I held on to that and I never said it aloud. And it was very liberating for her and we had to find a, a positive affirmation to change that. So first of all, we identify a concern. Because sometimes if we don't know what the concern is, we don't know how to change it. So you have to kind of figure out what's uncomfortable, what's deep down inside that's not sitting right with you now. And then you, um, you write it down. Okay, so then you choose, number two, you choose a new positive belief to adopt. So that's the second step, right? And with, our, um, with what we do, we're very blessed because we have essential oils. So number three, we can pick an essential oil to create a new positive associated feelings. So pick an essential oil to create new positive associated feelings. That means we want to make lots of mental links and wire the brains again, but properly. Okay, so we can learn something, but sometimes when we unlearn something, it might take a little bit longer. So there's only three steps really, and I'll explain each of those steps, okay, in a little bit more detail. All right, so um, here's an example of what somebody can do. So this person is always feeling like she's out of time or out of energy. And that's common, isn't it? So lots of people feel like there's too much to do, so little time, and then they get tired and um, discouraged or overwhelmed. So we picked wild orange. Um, and you know, with wild orange, we say, I am filled with energy and joy. So that's our new affirmation. We're letting go of the old. And our second affirmation to go with that oil is, I have plenty of time to work and play, okay? Um, and that will help you find evidence in your universe um, of finding time to work and play. Okay, so this here is a, 
um, actually a handout, so you can actually click on that and then it'll bring up a PDF and you can print it out. So when you take it with you to, to help people learn how to write affirmations, it's going to be helpful. But for you today, we're going to just break it down a little bit more and explain it some more. Okay. So step one is very easy. It's look at the results. What's happening around you? What's causing you discomfort? What's causing you disease? Okay. Um, so anybody want to, you know, share a concern or an issue that they think that they want to change as an example so we can we'll do this live. Okay, I'll go. Because <laughs> I've been sitting here writing a page of affirmations for myself. I haven't been using peppermint and I have had a heavy heart and it's related to finances. And I think I have some false beliefs still left there. And um, anyway, do you want to hear my affirmations? <laughs> okay. I am meant to be happy. Life is beautiful, rich, joyful, and abundant. I am able to afford all that is good and right for myself and others. It's easy for me to afford to give back and serve others. My income is constantly increasing. I am wise with my money and I am confident in managing it well. I am free of debt. I am able to resolve them easily and quickly. My income is much more than my expenses. I am confident in who I am. I am worthy of financial freedom. Wow, that is a fantastic. When we go through the examples, that is a really good example. Well done, Debbie. So, um, I guess you know, the feeling right now the feeling um, that we have is the discomfort and stress, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, so go ahead and unmute yourself, Debbie, when you want to make a comment. Okay. Um, but sometimes when we have money, uh, we associate it with freedom. Okay. And um, so that's our concern is the money concern. But we actually think money is freedom. But right now, in our mind, money is out there. And so we have the opposite of freedom. We feel stuck and we feel bond, bound, bound, okay? Uh, so right now that concern is we feel bound. Why do we feel bound? Um, so we can identify some false belief and it could be like most people, uh, you have to work hard to earn money. Um, and of course, working hard means a lot of sacrifice. Um, so our false belief is money gives us pain. You know, because we've seen parents fight, we've seen husbands and wives fight, and we've seen children get disappointed that, um, you know, mom and dad didn't buy us um, stuff. So I remember last week um, we had somebody say that they lost their retainer. Um, you know, I had several friends do that. They dumped their retainer in the, the thing at the lunch room and with their lunch tray. And um, the parents said, well, I'm not going to buy you another one. So that person feels pain, right? Unimportant and not as important as money. Money is more important than them. Okay, so that means, so that false belief that money is, um, you know, painful. In, in our minds, we think money equals freedom, but because we don't have money, you see, we, it equals pain. So what we want to do is disconnect ourselves with money altogether, actually, um, because really that joy comes from God. We're free because of God. And there's lots of ways we can do what we want to do. So it's actually perfect that you brought up the example this morning. I had a conference call with a lady and um, I asked her if she could ask God for what she wants. And she hasn't. She hasn't. So in her mind, she hasn't really um, said what she wants. She just think, oh, I just need money so I can do this. 
So she's really um, not clear on what she wants. I tell people it's sort of like a, a kid coming to the mom and saying, hey, ma, I'm hungry. And the mom says, hey, what, what do you want to eat? And the kid says, oh, anything, right? And so it's like, well, I don't know what to give you. So we don't even feel worthy to ask because we've asked before when we were a child. And what, what do we get? No, we can't afford it. So what do you do? Well, I'll quit asking now, right? So we quit asking God. So I tell her that we ask for stuff. So you, your job is to list out the what. I want you know, to work three days a week. I want to have lots of time and money for me and my kids to travel, for me and my kids to do humanitarian work, right? So to ask for the what, because in the end, sometimes it's not money that's, that gets you all that. It's something else. Or you get free this and free pass. So I said, look, I wanted to travel um, first class. And, you know, I just got, I kept on being bumped up to first class. I didn't pay for it. So in my mind, in our minds, we think, oh, we have to have this much money to be able to do that. Maybe not. So one time my husband and I, we got scholarships. So, you know, we thought, oh, we needed money to travel. We wanted to travel. We asked for travel. And, you know, the scholarships and all these things worked out so that we could travel. So we got what we wanted anyways in a different way. So God's job is the how. Our job is the what. So don't assume that I need this much money so I can have this. Because then you're taking over God's job. Okay, you don't need to tell him how to do his job. He will do it. So we wanted to go to Harry Potter World. <clears throat> and then guess what? I got jobs and I got things and I got enough money. And, and we got a coupon for hotel for a week. You know, it's just, wow, how did that happen? That was great, you see. So ask for the watch. Spend, you know, a bit of time with your husband or with your family. Going, what do we really want? Let's write it down. And just focus on this want, okay? So anyways, because you know what you want, you can write the positive affirmations for it, okay? And you can release the, the negative fears. So releasing uh, the uh, money equals pain, okay? Releasing that. Uh, releasing money equals freedom or security because it doesn't, okay? You know, adopting that God is with me. God, you know, where my heart is is where God is, right? Not where the the money is, right? Okay, so you know, you discover all of that. Okay, it's just finding where your discomfort is and just writing that discomfort down, all right, and then looking at it really critically and objectively. Um, some people like weight, weight is a problem, or um, you know, some other health problem is a problem. My friend, his, his diabetes was a problem. Right, and we looked it up, and so I have, you know, the book feelings buried alive never die, and that was a good thing. So we found the health problem, and then we found the emotion that goes with it. Okay, and then we we write our affirmation. Okay, so affirmation about seeing the sweetness of life. Okay, so these are the rules. Step number two, it's just choosing a new positive belief to adopt. So that book is awesome because it can give you an idea of how to start, okay? So say that somebody has arthritis. It's about inflicting pain, saying bad things about self. And so we will say positive things about self now. And these are the rules for writing affirmations. It needs to be in the present tense. Um, use action words, verbs that end in ing, so it's more present, um, okay? so. Use, it, use your own words, don't use other people's words, because you have to choose, you have to make a decision in your mind to get rid of this false belief. Um, be very specific, keep it simple, so don't make it an elaborate you know, sentence that go three lines long, okay? Um, be positive, make it into a positive affirmation. Uh, use I am statements, like what Debbie did, you know, I am this, I am that. Um, evoke emotions. So that's what, what we're going to do next, okay? So something that helps us have a connection to their emotion because our emotion is the energy uh, power source and that will vibrate and attract. So if you're filled with love and hope and joy, you're going to attract love, hope and joy. So if you're, <clears throat> like I said, if you're attaching this fear and this pain with money, you know, 
that's why you're vibrating pain 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 right so if you as associate love and joy and peace and safety and security right now because you've got it now God's given it to you you're not in a war-torn country right so well we've got all that you can attract more you just can't help it okay um, it's, it's brilliant when I when we first moved here I hope Betty doesn't mind. <laughs> we, we came here and we think, whoa, we're here, we've been obedient, you know, hope we can make it and hope things turn out. And within a couple of months, you know, um, we got a check for 11,000. I mean, not a check, but um, it was a deposit into our account, you know, from Australia. <laughs> and we are like, oh my goodness, thank you, where'd that come from? You know, we, we know where it came from, but it wasn't expected. So we didn't know we paid that much in taxes and things like that. It just came. Um, so it was beautiful. But that's an, an example of just having hope and faith and, you know, happiness. And then you're attracting it and you think, oh, thank you. Um, and we do, we get that a lot. You know, we, we have an income that comes from all over the place. So that's it's very uh, faith promoting. Um, the next one is that, you know, it's about yourself. It can't be about others. You can't have an affirmation about, you know, your husband or your kids. <laughs> so, oh, my kids are very obedient. <laughs> no, um, you know, it just has to be about yourself because that's all you have control over. <laughs> so, um, you guys want to make a comment or ask any questions? We have some examples here, um, but I'm sure that you guys can come up with really good ones too. I'd like to say something about affirmations. A lot of people have a hard time with affirmations because they, they have this false belief and then they think of the positive aspect of it. Um, but, it, and you know how we're saying something in, in present tense, where it may not be something that has come about. And so for them, an affirmation feels like a lie. And so they have a really hard time doing affirmations. There's a few ways around that. Affirmations is just using the power of your imagination. You know, we, no one believes that Harry Potter is actually a wizard. <laughs> it's a fictional character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to break it there, everybody. It's fiction, right? And we use our imagination to enjoy this wonderful story. That's the same thing we're doing with our affirmations. So we're using our, our imagination. We're imagining that we're already there and that we're celebrating and that we're feeling the good feelings because we have become that thing that we're trying to become. Focusing on that, that imagination and letting those feelings boil up in you will help create, put things in place and help that come about. You'll, you'll notice things and you'll, you'll make decisions that will somehow help yeah. um, support that belief that you had. So if, if that's a problem for you, you know, using your affirmations and you're thinking, oh, I'm saying that I, uh, I'm, 10, I'm rich or yeah, I earned 10,000 or I'm a doTERRA diamond or, or whatever your dreams are. Um, and, and if that's hard for you because you're not really that thing, relax. Just let yourself imagine. Um, there's the, the, the book that we've been talking about recently um, about the millionaire mind. Um, he calls them declarations. Mm -hmm. And so instead of saying something that you want to come about, um, and some of these are not necessarily things that you want to come about. So it might be positive, true beliefs like, I am worth, um, you know, billions of dollars, I, why I am, I have an infinite self-worth, right? Um, that, that's a true statement and because sometimes people will think, oh, I'm worth, you know, $28,000 a year or whatever. That's, that's that is very limited, but if you say yeah, you're, you're of infinite worth, so that's a true belief that you can adopt. But if you say I earn, um, I am earning, if we're putting it in, po in present tense and positive, I am earning, um, you know, $100,000 a year. It may not be true right now. So you can put an affirmation and say, I'm earning $100,000 a year. And just focus on that. Just imagine it, right? It doesn't have to be true. Don't 
don't get yourself stuck on that. Or you can make a declaration. A declaration is you say, I commit to earning this amount. Mm -hmm. I commit to doing these things. I um, declare that this is who I am. And I'm going to do everything to make that come about physically. Mm -hmm. um, to manifest in the physical world. So I hope that helps some yeah. people with making affirmations because that's a real sticking point for yeah. some person. That's awesome. Honey. So we have some that. examples mm -hmm. here. Um, and it's really good if you if um, we can all work together on, on coming up with affirmations that are more effective than others. That I say, I'm filled with love and acceptance of myself. Or I am financially secure. Okay, that's that's a that's a fair affirmation, but you can make it um, you can make it even more powerful. You can invoke emotions like, "I'm so happy and grateful that I have abundant financial resources to take care of all of my to pay for my home, my family, my needs, my food and transportation." So you're being very specific. You're putting it in your own words positive it's it's present tense um it's invoking your feelings so if there's something you can feel that's that gives it, gives it. Can, okay, that, that's all i had to, to okay can i share something i um i've been working with jade for a while now and we've been talking about um gratitude and i think that i might have had some of those false beliefs when it came to doing affirmations and so i've been using the spike nard to help me be grateful for what I already have, but also to be grateful for future blessings, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Yeah, because, you know, if you've seen kids do make-believe and play, um, it's awesome because it's so real to them. I mean, even my, our twins, we, they argue over their imaginary friend. <laughs> and we're like, okay, I'm sorry, Sally didn't want to play with you, but Sally didn't want to play with me, but she wanted to play with her. And I thought, oh, I'm so sorry. But it's so real. They cry. Oh, and Sally is pretending. It's just not real. <laughs> can you make another Sally and play with her too? So, but, you know, for us, we, we can do that. We can imagine. But, you know, thank you for this abundant life. And we really need to um, because you, you can see, if you see yourself from an outsider's point of view, you are blessed. You know, if, the, if you have somebody from a poor town in Africa and they're looking at you, they think you are blessed. Why are you complaining about? And here we are being a little bit stuck in our ways and our, in what we see. We see all of these things that could fall apart, could go wrong, and we're so stressed about it. But if I step out sometimes and I think, oh, we are so blessed. You know, quit complaining, Jade. You know, just, you know, be happy. So, I think you can do that in your prayers yeah. too. You can mm -hmm. pray, you know, t uh, say you're grateful for something that's going to come about, and you're grateful for this thing that you're enjoying right now, and you're yes. grateful for that thing that, that was in the past. You know, yeah. you can, yeah. gratitude can be felt in the past, present, and future. That's and true. You can even ask for help, you know, in, in retrospect and mm -hmm. gratitude, um, you know, after the fact or before the, yep. the fact. I think we talked about that. Mm -hmm principle last yeah. uh, week in our Friday, yes, the yeah. gratitude in, in advance. Gratitude in advance. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing, Marissa. Um, yeah. other what, oh, sorry. I was going to say, what, just, what Ben just said about, you know, praying about, about it too, we actually did start doing that. Like, I do it in my personal prayers, but then we started doing it as a family so that all of us would hear it every day, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. I love that. We do as a family. That's so much more powerful. I like that. Um, an ex effective example, I am growing my business quickly and easily. My body is filled with energy and vitality. For those are effective, less effective is I won't say bad things about myself um, because you're using all of these words. Your brain just look, picks out the words. So I won't and bad, it doesn't do the opposite. It doesn't do the negative. <laughs> or a less effective one, maybe you say, people like me. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the, the Saturday Night Live film. Yeah. It was affirmation. And gosh, uh, people, gosh darn it. <laughs> 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 so a more, a more effective affirmation would be, I am a very likable person. 
<laughs> so they're gosh darn it, people like me. <laughs> that's making the affirmations for everybody else. That's not really that effective. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my business will grow it's sort of like in the future um, and I won't eat bad foods anymore so all your subconscious hears is bad foods <laughs> yeah yeah and so the positive one would be I eat wholesome and nourishing foods yeah. in the right amounts yeah that's awesome okie dokie um, anybody want to share or say anything about that Okay, so step three, choose an essential oil to create new positive associated feelings. Um, if we can um, bring out that emotion and attach that to our new affirmation um, or declaration, then we are more likely to get what we want quickly. So using that uh, emotion book in the back, you have a list of emotions. Um, you can look at those emotions. They can be positive or uh, negative. They're all there. And, um, you know, find the oil that is that goes with that and smell that and um, make your affirmations and keep smelling those oils and helping your brains have the multi-modal um, associations with it. Okay, the more associations you have, you know, with all your senses, um, the better it is for your brain to, to buy into it and to adopt it. So can we do an example? Yeah. So about this top one. I am filled with love and acceptance of okay. myself. So that would be geranium oil. So you can smell that and just say, I love and accept myself. Okay, so you would look up um, yep. acceptance uh -huh. and love. Yep. Maybe look up love. That's uh, yep. That would lead you to geranium yep. or rose That's right. or one so, of those. Or mm -hmm. acceptance or yep. self-acceptance. So let's go to love. Appreciation. Uh, yeah. Okay, so love. And then just get out your oils and uh, smell it's geranium. them around. It says geranium and rose. Okay, so you can get your geranium and rose. Or feeling loved. Loved, you can add frankincense and respiratory blend. Okay, yeah. so those are the oils you can do. And you can do that smell test. So your nose will tell you. You can just go, wait, I'm not sure, and just smell, 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 smell. Hey, this is the one. This is the one that grabs me. And use that oil to help you with your affirmation and sometimes we're very intuitive we just reach for the right oils um, some people can and some people can't muscle test it doesn't matter you know your nose will tell you okay um, the, nose. the nose so if you can write it down it's more powerful this afternoon my friend she almost she laughed and cried because she had this feeling inside that she didn't kind of recognize and then she said it aloud and she said wow that's the first time I've ever said that you know, I've been told all my life I'm no good and, you know, that I'm never going to make enough money to take care of myself. So I might as well, you know, marry rich or whatever. And she was like, I just hated and resented that all her life. But because she hated and she resented, she hated that feeling so badly that she's creating it. Right. And she's creating that I can't provide for myself kind of deal. Um, feeling weak. So now we discovered it and she, we wrote it down. So that was really, really important. It, it was like liberating, but painful for her at the same time. <laughs> so it was good. Um, so put it down in writing and then um, limit yourself to a few at a time because you can have hundreds and hundreds of affirmations and your brain is just doing too much. And it's not helpful. So I know a few people that do that. They have like, look at me, I've got five pages of affirmations. Wow. Okay, your brain needs to just focus on a few at a time so you can take care of that and then you know maybe or maybe not you, you might not need the rest um, at, at this time because it might be linked or linked together with this okay um, so number five it says believe that you can heal and change easily and pray for help changing so one lady I worked with she she does all this she went to all these courses learned all these things and at the end of the day I said look I feel like you have a false belief that change is difficult and healing is hard and she's all yes that's me and she says I say these affirmations every day all the time and do all these things with it and I said let's get rid of that <laughs> so I said healing is quick healing is easy 
right? I don't think any God out there that loves us would impose such hardship on us. <laughs> you know, you can repent and change, but after lots of pain, no, <laughs> no. So that was a liberating um, moment for her. Okay. Uh, number six is, if you can, record your voice saying the affirmations and listening to it as often as you can. It doesn't have to be like five weeks, months or anything. It's just maybe a couple of days of just listening to it. If you're driving, you listen to yourself um, so that it's wired in there. You know, people do subliminal um, messages all the time. People do um, propaganda. I know that communist countries, they just play it and people just ignore it, not hear it. But they're really hearing it. Their subconscious remembers everything. So you can do that for yourself. <clears throat> and then the last thing is very, very important. Look for evidence of change and don't look for the failure. So, you know, if you say that I am growing my business uh, very quickly, you look for the evidence of it growing very quickly. So look at all those people buying. Look at all those people coming, you know, instead of, oh, there's five people that are not really buying or, you know, it's a good thing to spend that energy on this, even though that other thing exists there, but it'll start to get smaller and minimize if you just focus on the many, many people that are doing the, the things that you are looking for. Okay, guys, that's all I have to say. We have an affirmation statement from Share Success there, and that's a, for people who want to do the business, the doTERRA business, and that's some affirmations. So, and this has some good examples mm -hmm. of effective and less effective affirmations. So you've downloaded a copy and you can see it gives you 10 pointers to make affirmations. Um, yeah. Some tips and everything. But I thought that was a helpful exercise. So Jade, when you said um, don't do too many, how many would you think? Like four or five? Or... Mm -hmm. So it's, okay. have you heard of buckets? You know, the brain buckets? <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so if you can just fit in that many buckets five buckets or so don't do more <laughs> yeah yeah oh, so we are done anybody else want to share was that helpful i thought it was helpful because sometimes i think i have a good affirmation but then it's not not that it's bad, it's just not written as well as it can be so that you start to accept it and believe it quicker. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Effective and not as effective. <laughs> <laughs> um, some other ways to uh, say your affirmations you didn't have here, but um, in, in, in front of the mirror, um, you know, maybe say at the same time every day, um, you have, you know, read it daily. You could, um, you, should, you should write down your affirmation and read it daily, but you can also write it down daily, like write it out by hand. Just like, yeah, you're bad and you're forced to stay behind school <laughs> and write it out on a chalkboard over and over. That never <laughs> No. <laughs> but you remembered it when it happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Well, thank you. We'll end our recording now and we can have a conversation with everybody here. Yes, and thank you for everybody joining us. Thank and you. Good night.